Okay, so this is a very sensitive topic to be talking about. And like all my videos, this video is being made for the purpose of entertainment and for education. But it's also being made to raise awareness. If you're having trouble with addiction or know anyone else having trouble with addiction, call any of the numbers on screen right now or in the description. But with that being said, welcome to 10 WWE wrestlers who did drugs. Number 10, Umaga. I really just want to get this one out the way. In 2009, Jonathan Fatu, aka Umaga, was released from the WWE due to a violation of the WWE's wellness policy and refused to go to rehab. Fatu's drug problem would end his career and also end his life. In December of 2009, Jonathan Fatu passed away after two heart attacks after an intoxication of Hydrocone, Carisipridol and Valium. Number 9. William Regal Regal had noticeable problems with drugs. In 1997, Regal was arrested after he urinated on a flight attendant while intoxicated. William Regal began abusing GHB which would ultimately cause him to have many problems with other drugs. He was sent to rehab and since then he has made a great recovery and has been clean off of both drugs and alcohol for over 15 years, so good on him. Number 8, Randy Orton. In 2006, Randy Orton was serving a suspension for unprofessional conduct and during his suspension he overdosed on painkillers and was sent to hospital. None of this was really made public until 2011 when Randy Orton admitted in a radio interview that this had all happened. Since then, Randy Orton has also made a great recovery and no reports of him doing drugs have ever been made since. So good for you, Randy. You go, girl. Number 7, Jeff Hardy. We all know Jeff Hardy had substance abuse problems. It's even been mentioned by CM Punk in an infamous WWE promo. We all know the famous incident where Jeff Hardy showed up to his match with Sting at TNA in 2011 in absolutely no condition to compete, obviously because he was high. But it's good to know that he's cleaned himself up over the years and is doing a lot better, so good for him. Number 6, Davey Boy Smith. Smith struggled with lots of drugs during the peak of his career. He passed away in 2002 due to a heart attack at only 39 years old, and doctors think it was due to the years of drug abuse using growth hormones and steroids. Number 5, Matt Bourne. Matt Bourne was the original Doink the Clown and he was very open about his drug addictions, often mentioning them in interviews and said it was the main reason for his release in 1993. Bourne would go to rehab in an attempt to reshape his life but sadly he passed away at the age of 55 in 2013. Number 4, Jake Roberts. In 1997, Drake Roberts' troubles with drugs and alcohol finally caught up to him and led to his firing from the WWF. Roberts had been to many prisons and rehabilitation centers in his life, but thanks to DDP Yoga, Roberts is now drug-free and sober and in the Hall of Fame, so well done to him. Number 3, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle was cut from the WWE for refusing to go to rehab. Whatever WWE tells us is un- true and Angle blames his neck injuries for his painkiller addictions and identifies his Olympic medal as the thing that led to many of his problems. But thankfully he has turned his life around and is still one of the greatest wrestlers today. Number 2 Scott Hall Scott Hall's stories with drugs and alcohol is very sad and luckily DDP's yoga would also save Scott Hall's life and now Scott Hall is in the Hall of Fame too. Massive respect to Scott Hall, but massive respect to DDP for saving the lives of both Jake Roberts and Scott Hall. And number one, Chris Benoit. Guys, it was coming. It was coming. I really didn't want to have to put this one here, but you can't make a list like this and leave Chris Benoit out. Toxicology tests showed that Benoit had an anti-anxiety drug named Xanax and the painkiller known as Hydrocodone in his blood. These drugs in his system could have been the motives that led to the tragedy afterwards, but we'll never know. Thank you for watching guys.